Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Bengal, where we are currently at war with the Ottoman Turks. We're at 32 war score, and he has 7 war exhaustion, although ours is creeping up as well. What would it cost us to pay that down? 67. Alright, it's not that bad. The war's going really well so far. We've burned through about 100,000 manpower. But so has he. He's down to 40 manpower, so he's pretty much wrecked. But you know what? He can get that manpower back, and I don't think we can get that manpower back so easily. Alright, we're getting attacked. That's always fun. Let's start off today's episode with a nice battle. What up, Ottomans? Can I call you into this war? No. Wow, so Poland finally peaced out with Lithuania, but he still won't join my war because he has lots of war exhaustion and he's really in debt. Oh, Muscovy wants me to support his independence, so he doesn't like Poland anymore. Interesting. I, I don't think I want to support your independence, Muscovy, but it's nice to know that uh, whatever, whatever, Muhammad Jihad and all that stuff. Should I improve relations? Sure, why not? Can't hurt. Apparently, he's committing a lot more troops to this battle than I expected. Sure, bring them all in. Bring them all in. Hey, DWCHP, thanks for subbing, man. Welcome abroad. I can afford to bring more troops to this battle. Is he still committing? Uh, yeah, he's arriving tomorrow. Excellent. Yep, here comes the army. Okay. So drop off two guys, and let's get in there. Big battle. Yeah, Twitch chat was saying to go siege Alexandria because it's an important province. I think I will, but I don't want to do it with just an isolated stack of two. So we'll take it slow for now. But yeah, you're right. That is a big part of their income. Ow. Ow. Jesus, he rolls an 8, we roll a 1, and he's crushing us. Ow. Yeah, when he rolls well, it's just ridiculous. We outnumber him 2 to 1, but he's still killing more of my troops every day because of a roll of 7. We're a tech ahead of him, too, and we're on the defense. It just doesn't seem to matter. Okay, our ships are ready to rock. I am going to get an admiral for this. And let's start sailing. We have access in the Congo, and I'm going to get access in Mali as well. I wish Scotland wasn't threatened. We can't get naval access while he's threatened. So we'll get access in Mali instead. And then we can go dock up here in the Mediterranean, which is great. Who's this? Bukura wants a marriage. Uh... Well, if you annex your vassals, then maybe. But not while you have vassals, dude. Fuck off. Portuguese Colombia is at war with Flanders? What is this about? The Hansa. Oh, Spain's now at war with Portugal. Alright, have fun with that. 
Might be a good time to attack Spain, but gotta finish this war first. Spain's now embargoing us. That's fun. Oh, look at this. He's going to come attack my little two stacks now. Fuck off. Yeah, this is smart. Look what he's doing. He's going to come attack my two stacks with this guy. You dick. That's okay. This battle will be over soon. Access, please. Okay. Oh, did they just crush? No way. Oh, no. They, they're retreating. Okay. I'm like, wow, it looks like they crushed, but they didn't. I think we've got him trapped now. Well, not trapped, but distracted, so he won't do it. Oh, he's actually being able to run away with no general? No, not anymore. Okay, we're good. Swap in my good general. No. Crush? Nah, it's not gonna crush. We rolled a one. What? What? We're getting attacked in Sedan, I didn't even notice. God damn it. Oh, he crushed. Wow. Nice. Oh, we just protect against the Ottomans. Good. Finished a mission. Yay. Next. Marriage with Guji. Rule the seas. Huh. We have to have more heavy ships than everyone on the planet. Really? How many heavy ships does, like, England have? Oh. That's actually not a hard mission to finish. All we have to do is have more heavies than Spain. Still, I'm probably not going to do that. That's an interesting mission. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Alright, these missions suck. actually attacking me? He is. On the 9th of November. Okay. Swap in the 2-6. What up, Beaches? Like that negative three to all your rolls? Sure you do. Oh, I see. He's ganging up with hedges. That's what's going on. God damn it. Oh, come on. Bring them all in. Attack me. Attack me, bro. 
No, you don't want to attack? Darn. The Dutch West Indies have declared war on Japan. What? What? What the fuck? I have no idea what the fuck just happened there. I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen at all. Okay, apparently I can't fight down there. And there's just a couple guys. But I also can't get distracted by sending reinforcements down there. The war is not down there. The war is up here. Okay, so France has finished that. Now, does that get rid of his mission? He just finished... He just finished his war with Jaffna. That should get rid of his mission, I think. Keep an eye on him. Okay, all of a sudden he likes me again. Yeah, so he canceled his mission. What's your mission now? He has no mission. Okay. Well, stop being hostile and we can get our alliance back, okay? And then we can declare on Spain. Losing 35 ducats a month to reinforcements. That's what it is. It's just all reinforcements. You gonna attack me or what? Yep. <laughs> I just needed 100 guys. We're good now. Alright, 5th of February. You got it. Oh, he changed his mind. Okay. Yeah, this is something that's going to be go gone in the next patch. In the next patch, if an army commits itself more than half of, half of the distance to the target destination, then they will be forced to continue to the destination. So this guy, he canceled his movement on the last day. He won't be allowed to do that anymore with the new patch. I think it's going to be a really good patch. It's going to be different for sure. Come on, attack me, you little shit. There we go. 7th of March. Okay, now it's the... Yeah, still the 7th of March. Okay.
Alright, he's committed. Let's go. Nice. Good roll for me. Holy shit. Hold a nine. Not so good rolls from then on, though. Yeah, our rolls after that nine have been crap. <laughs> God damn, this guy hurts. He hits like a truck. He's a 5-4 super general. We might still... I mean, we're going to win the battle, I think. I don't know. We're losing 2,000 guys a day. That hurts like hell. He's not even rolling as good as we are, but he's killing more of our guys. We're ahead of him in tech. We have, you know, good generals. We're on the defense. He has a negative two to all his rolls, but he still kills more of my troops every, every day, even though I roll better than he does. That's just fucked up. But that's what we have to work with. Yeah, we're just... Man. Alright, well, we won the battle, but we took some really heavy losses. Two war score though, not bad. How much of that is battles? Only 17 war score from battles. That's pretty crazy. We've had some big battles, but only 17 war score from battles. Wow. Okay, now this is a problem. He's starting to build an army from Egypt, and he's just gonna keep attacking me while I'm trying to siege. Major problem. I don't know if I can do anything about that. Maybe. I could take one of these guys down there to fight, but I don't really want to do that. I kind of feel like fighting up here in the north is way more important than whatever happens in the south. I may be wrong. I don't know. I don't know if that's smart or not. France has declared war on Spain. Oh, France is friendly again. All of a sudden, he's done and he's done with his uh, war on Ceylon, and now he's friendly again. So he will take an alliance after this war. What the fuck? He's tech twenty-five. Wow, he's uh, forty. He's five years ahead on tech. Damn, crazy France. All right, so France is now fighting Austria, huh? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like I'm not going to be allying France to attack Spain because he just attacked Spain on his own. Huh. Ottomans down to 150 troops with no manpower. Alright, my navy has made it to Congo. Let's head over to Mali. And then we can head up to uh, the Ottomans. See if we can't fight these guys and then cross. A 
Lost a claim on Guyong. I don't think I need that one. No, I don't need that land. I don't care. What up, Hedges? Yeah, get wrecked. How much more war score can we get from ticking war score? 16.6. .6. Not bad. We'll have to start looking at what kind of peace deal we want soon. I mean our navy's gonna be here. I don't even need I don't even need our navy to win this war. But it's a matter of how much can we get and how much more can we get if we stay in the war for a while. Alright, Poland, do you wanna help out in the war? Nope. Still 538 ducats in debt. Wow. Stop being so in debt, Poland. Oh, he's loading up a ship. Where are you taking that? He's got 11 transports. Oh, maybe, maybe that's what he did. Maybe he's transporting shit to Egypt so he can attack us down here. Yeah, that would make sense. Alright, where's my navy? Okay, almost there. Okay, do you want in on the war? Nope. 3,390 ducats in debt. You don't say. That's quite a bit of debt you have there, Scandinavia. Okay, we're getting attacked on the 22nd. Wow, this army's like all cav. What the fuck? You don't need that much cav. He's now going away. I think he's going to walk around and come through QQ. Do you have access in QQ? Nope. Oh, yeah, you do. No. It's the other way around. QQ has access to the Ottomans. Interesting. Yeah, he's got no heavies. I still think his navy could beat my navy, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I've got a I've got an admiral and 30 heavies. I might be able to win that. Ashanti has westernized. Well, congratulations, Ashanti. Alright, let's go dock up. Here we go, 92 guys. He's arriving on the 24th, which is tomorrow. 137 guys. You don't say. Where's my 2-6? All 
All right, let's go. Let's do it. It's arriving tomorrow. Yep. Ow. He rolls a nine. I'm losing 2,000 guys a day. Yep. Look at that. God damn. He's just killing us. That 5-4 general is just... He's just wrecking us. Okay, another 3.6 war score. We lost 41,000 troops. And the Ottomans lost more than that, but still. Another 41,000 manpower gone. Our exhaustion's creeping up. I really don't want to pay down the exhaustion if we don't have to. Alright, January, we'll come back from Syria. We'll take a look at our options for piecing out of the war. I don't want to piece out yet. I want to get more war score than this. We can get another 20 war score from battles and another 15 war score from just sitting on our ass. So we might as well just milk it for war score. But the question is, what, what do the Ottomans want? I mean, he's at low enthusiasm, so he's ready to piece out right now. He also might be desperate to peace out. And if he's desperate to peace out, then he'll probably just give us like 80 war score peace deal right now. You know, just go 20 over our war score. But we'll see. Big galley fleet. France wants an alliance. I know. I know, France. You and me, bro. Okay, we're back from, or we're coming back from Syria. It's our relations. 125, perfect. So after the war, we can vassalize him. And then the next war with the Ottomans, we can feed him uh, the province of Halep, which has silk, and it's his core. But that'll be a few years down the road. So let's check out peace deals. See what he's willing to part with. Oh, and our navy just arrived, by the way. <laughs> 
Still won't join my war, huh, Poland? No. Oh, and he does have an admiral now. He's got a 1-1 one, one admiral. I have a 2-2 two, two admiral. Lovely. All right, end of the month. Give me that health. And we'll see if he wants to party. Yeah, he's running away. All right, so I think I might have this naval situation in the bag. We're blockading his capital, although that doesn't seem to be worth any war score. Really? Blockading is not worth anything? 0 0.85 war score for a blockade of his capital. Wow. How stingy can you get? All right, so if I want to take a rock's lands, that's zero. I definitely want to take a rock's lands. Okay, that's only 20 war score. That's a lot less than I thought it would cost for those lands. But I guess the base tax is pretty low. And I do want this province so that I can... Wait, I don't even need that, do I? I was going to use that so I can fabricate on Syria, but we don't need to fabricate on Syria because he wants to peacefully vassalize. So that's not a problem. Oh, no, I do need to take it because of distance between borders. Okay, that makes sense. So I do need to take this province down here. We don't have a claim on it, though. That should be okay. Okay, so do that. I'll take this one as well. It's like a two base tax. It won't be that expensive. How much is it to release, like, Bulgaria? And, oh, wow, these are cheap. I thought it would cost more than eight Diplo for this shit. Apparently it doesn't cost much. Hmm. Now you can keep your shitty allies. I don't care. A thousand, a thousand war score just to make him a vassal. Darn, if only, right? If only. War reps would be a good idea because it's worth a lot. And release. Oh, the Mamluks. I could make him release the Mamluks for 100 war score. Wow. Crimea for 96 war score. Wallachia for 55 war score. Bulgaria, 48 war score. What would be better? Do you guys think it would be better to get Wallachia with this land? Or would it be better to take Bulgaria with this land? I think they're both good. Bulgaria might be interesting because then I could take Edirne. I wonder if I can get Edirne in this war. If I, if I spit out Bulgaria and take Edirne, then I could eat Bulgaria. His capital here in Constantinople would be isolated. That's probably the better option. Take Bulgaria, take Adirn, give all this land to Iraq, vassalize Syria, go back to war with the Ottomans, uh, give Syria all of his cores, annex Iraq, um, annex Bulgaria, and then go get Huda Vendigar. And I can fabricate on Huda Vendigar from Adirn. I think that's a good plan. Yeah, so I'll take Adirn. Give me something to do with my navy over here. But you know what? We're out of time for this episode, so thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time, where we'll push across the Sea of Marmara into Constantinople. And we'll finish the war with the Ottomans. Oh, he's got rebels too. Sweet. I'll see you next time, everyone. Have a good day.